Well, talking about weight at any age can be a little touchy, and it can be especially difficult with our kids when the stakes are a lot higher. So here with some tips on how parents can approach the conversation is family therapist Natasha Sini. Always a pleasure to have you here. And it's a conversation that we're starting to have, and a, and a problem that we're realizing is happening a lot earlier, younger with these kids. Absolutely. We're seeing kids as young as actually six years old talking about weight and weight issues and having things like anorexia. And it's so sad. Mm -hmm. It really is. And so there's things as parents that we want to be able to look out for, be on the lookout for, and then understand our own behaviors and how we're dealing with things. So I like some of these tips that you have. So the first one is to focus on healthy lifestyle not on the body or on the clothing size. Right, so if you focus on your child's, oh, you're chunky, you're fat, I think you need to lose a little bit of weight, you're gonna actually shame and embarrass your child and you're gonna make them more defensive. It's not about how, what size, because all bodies come in different shapes and sizes, but how can we actually be healthy? Do we need to talk about a healthy lifestyle and talk about things about limiting screen time? Uh, what, are, what are, not even what are we eating, because you can eat healthy and still have an eating problem. Okay, so it, it's interesting because there's there's so many different ways, and it, it, I'm having a tough time. Like it's a very sensitive topic on any of these fronts, yes. whether it's overweight or underweight, right? Yes, exactly. And this is not a conversation to have with your child in front of their friends. Comparison: Why can't you be like your sibling? Uh, you know, if you have really serious concerns, go talk with your family doctor first, and this is a conversation to have privately. I mean, kids are going to be embarrassed and ashamed of their bodies if you point them out to them. You know, it, we're all sensitive, like, oh, I don't like my arm, oh, my tummy's fat. They pick up on these cues from their parents all the time, and then it starts a conversation really young about, mm -hmm. I don't like how I look. Well, and that's really it. It's about being a model and creating a healthy lifestyle for the entire family. This isn't about one person doing one thing and another person in the family doing another. Exactly. And this is probably what happens. A lot of parents think like, oh, this child has a problem and they try to focus on that child. But it really is the whole family as a unit. What is your balance in life? Do you have a healthy lifestyle? Are you guys talking about exercise? Are you talking about hobbies? Are you talking about getting enough sleep? You need to teach your kids about food because once upon a time, food was easy. Mm -hmm. Now it's complicated because even myself sometimes I question, am I eating healthy with all these different things like this week it's this diet, next week it's this way to eat, this way we should be avoiding this. And we find out it's not as simple as, as just following one thing. But it needs to be from the parents understanding their own beliefs and their own outlooks on food and exercise and what it is that the family's doing. Exactly. So I mean what happens is sometimes we get parents who say they start talking about their own negative body images and being, oh I need to be on a diet or um, oh I I need to stop eating because I want to fit into a dress and your kids pick up on those cues and then they start modeling it. Kids model what we do. So if you want to have a healthy lifestyle about, you know, exercise and exercise isn't just lifting weights. It can be going for a bike ride together, going for a walk, playing ball, getting outside. It's, it's really about doing it all encompassing mm -hmm. throughout your whole life, not just, oh, just to fit into a dress for a holiday. And this isn't also about just doing this so that they can get their retreat or a dessert if they do something well. This is about not using food as a reward mm -hmm. or as a punishment. Yes. I mean, how many times do parents say, to fill the don't, <laughs> yeah, you don't get any dessert if you don't eat all the food in your plate, <laughs> right? Or you remember the stories of those starving children in India? You, we know how much food we want to eat. I mean, as a child, you think about when it's babies. Babies know when to cry. They know when to eat. They know when to have, you know, pee and poo, right? So we know how much food we need to put in our body, but we sometimes now, as adults, put maybe too much food on their kid's plate, not put enough food. Your kid knows how much food they need to eat. Just very quickly, you have to look for the warning signs. If you're seeing something is wrong, you do need to speak and bring yes. that attention. Bring that attention. So warning signs are, is your child restricting their food intake? Are they going to the bathroom very often during meal times or after meal times? Are you finding a lot of wrappers or candy or food hidden in their bedroom, pop drinks? Um, are they saying, you know, I can't eat this type of food? Um, and so we do see it very young now, and it's in its it can be hidden and they, do, they actually will hide their eating habits from you. So if you have concerns, talk to your family doctor and see a therapist who specializes in disordered eating. Some great tips. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Natasha. Always a pleasure.